Okay, so we have a question being sent by uh, Kenneth John Reyes Boticario. Is he connected, partner? Connected ba siya? Si Mr. Boticario. Connected ba? Wala. He is not connected. Anyway, no, uh, itutuloy pa rin po natin sagutan, ano? Whether uh, nandyan o wala, no? since nagpadala po siya ng katanungan, sasagutan pa rin po natin. At ipapadala natin yung video link po nito. No? So, kay uh, Kenneth. Okay, let, let, let us read the problem, the hysteresis and any current losses of a DC machine running at 1,000 RPM are 250 watts and 100 watts respectively. If the flux remains constant, at what speed will the total iron loss will uh, be half? No, magangalahati siya. No, so anong anong uh, speed daw yun? At what speed? Okay, so this is a past REE board problem. No, kaya pinili ko po itong tanong na ito na sagutan. No? Pas sa uh, REE board problem po yan. Okay, punta tayo sa yung tinatawag na hysteresis and eddy current loss. No? Uh, give you a little background. So, part po siya ng uh, loss ng uh, isang DC machine, even transformer. May tinatawag po na hysteresis and eddy current loss. No? So, they are actually for loss o yung tinatawag na iron loss. Okay? So, this is the P hysteresis plus the eddy current loss. Okay? So, ayan po. So, yung ating uh, iron loss, yung loss natin sa iron, no? or dun sa pinaka-core natin, sabi nga, yung pinaka-pahal natin, no? So, just like it na i-transformer, let's say meron pang core dito, ganun din nangyayari kahit sa mga machines po natin, mga rotating machines. I mean. So, meron po tayong uh, mga magnetic alignment po kasi dyan. Ano? Uh, yung mga magnetic flux natin flowing it must be parallel idea. No? But due to hysteresis loss, no? naglalag po yan. Ano? Ang tendency is nagkakaroon ng crossing yung mga magnetic flux. What is the practical effect? Umiinit po yung mga form losses natin. Ano? So, kung maga nawawala sa magnetic alignment po yung ating mga magnetic field. Ano, ano naman yung heavy current flux? Ano? Let's say you have a winding gear, but tendency kasi yung ating electrons lumabas sa surface ng conductor natin, they tend to crowd each other here. So, ang tendency yung charge natin, pwede siyang lumabas yung electrons natin. Actually, that is what we call skin effect. No? Skin effect. Ayan po. At yung orienting lumabas na yun, may pangalan yun. Si Eddie. Eddie siya. No? So, si Eddie Karen yun. No? Si Eddie Karen. Okay. So, skin effect, especially nangyayari yan, no, sa AC, lalo pag tumataas yung frequency, no, actually sa loob ng PC machine, AC pa rin yun eh. No? Later, we will discuss that. No? May separate discussion tayo doon. No? So, pag tumataas yung frequency, no, ika nga, no, yung DC, at saka AC comparison, yung DC, yung distribution ng mga charges po or electrons mo, uniform. No? Uniform po yan. Yung AC po, lalo pag tumataas ang frequency natin, as the frequency increases, tumataas po yung skin effect. Ibig sabihin, hindi, hindi uniform yung distribution ng charges. No? Maaari dito po ay uh, o konti lang. No? Dito sa site na to ang dami-dami charges. No? Dito tama lang, sakto lang. No? Dito naman, sobrang dami yung charges. 
non-uniform ang tawag nun. Eret density or non-uniform uh, distribution of charge, no? non-uniform. So, ang tendency is nagsisiksikan dito yan no? para LRT. No? Pag nagsisiksikan dito, tutulang ka palabas. No? So, yung electrons mo, lalabas po yan sa surface ng conductor. Kaya possible din yung mga kabli natin. No? Pag inawakan mo, pwede ka parang pa-oriente dyan. Eh. No? Kahit, kahit may insulator, sir. O kahit may insulation. Kahit may insulation. Possible. No? So, lalo pagka sumobra ka dun sa rating ng insulation mo. No? Basic insulation level na tinatawag. Okay. So, dito, ito yung eddy current loss natin. No? So, we have here a formula for hysteresis. Actually, our hysteresis loss is equal to uh, Kn. Hysteresis constant multiplied by the speed. Meaning, the speed is proportional to the hysteresis loss. We can have an equation like this. pH, no? what's pH again? Powerhouse. Then, hysteresis loss. pH2 over pH1 is equal to N2 over N1. So, ayun po yan. So, yan po ay formula base dito, directly proportional. 2, 2, 1, 1. So, directly proportional. Pag inversely, kung ito, ito, 1 to. Kung 1 to, 2 ito. Ganun yung inversely proportional. So, ito po yan. No? So, ibay naman po tayo ng pH2. Uh, Iaangat po natin si pH1. Siyempre, mathematically. Okay, Makinay nga, especially yung mga engineering po dyan. No? This is past RD report. Aangat po yung pH1 natin. Ang uh, ating pH1 ay... Uh, Hysteresis natin, 250. No? 250. So, ilalagay natin dito, 250. So, 250. And then, we have speed 2. No? Speed 2. Then, speed 1 po natin. And speed 1 tayo. 1,000 RPM. Yun. 1,000. Kaya, may equation tayo na pH2 is equal to Okay, may tatlong itlong dito. 1, 2, 3, point 0.25. Point 0.25 speed 2. So, equation na po natin ito. No? Patawagin po itong equation number 1. And then, we have our PE, eddy current loss is equal to eddy current constant, then the square of the speed. The square of the, the square of the speed. The square of the RPM or the speed is proportional to the eddy current cost. So, we have here our PE2 over PE1. So, that is equal to, we have here N2 over N1 quantity squared. So, ganun po yan. Opo? Ayan na po siya. So, iaangat po natin yung PE1. PE1. So, we have Uh, ang PE1 natin, given tayo, eh, di kaya 100, ano po? So, meaning, our PE2 is equal to uh, PE2, PE1 natin. PE1. 100 watts. O 100. Yan, ano po? So, ito, mathematically, pwede mo itong gawin N squared, N2 squared, then over N1 squared over N1 squared. Ano ba yung N1 mo? Pag sinabing 1, yung even eh. Usually, ganun, ganun. So, we have 1,000 RPM. So, 1,000. So, I squared mo yan. Ganun. So, therefore, our PE2 will be equal to uh, simplify na lang po natin ito, mga kawira. So, we have 100 then divided by 1,000 square. No? 1,000 1, square equals 100 divided by 1,000 square. 
1 times 10 to the negative 4. Okay, gawin natin decimal ha. 1, 2, 3, 1. Ano ba yun? 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's correct. Okay. Tapos, lalagyan na lang natin ng N2 quantity square. Ayan. Pwede natin siyang tawagin equation number 2. So, meron na tayong ano. No? BX2 BE2. No? Okay. Another equation. So, yung four loss daw natin, no? yung uh, ating uh, four loss Sometimes nga pala ay designate the uh, P core as PK. No? Mga constant loss eh. PK. Okay, gagaritsuin na natin dito. So, we have here our uh, PH2. PH2. No? Plus PE2. That will be equal to. Ang sabi kasi, no? What speed will the total iron loss be? Anong speed yung mga nananati siya? So, one half of pH1 plus pE1. So, ganun po. So, pH2 natin. Kunin natin yung pH2. Pwede natin unahin ito, no? Kasi that will form a quadratic equation. Ha? Ano mga problema? Kahit magpanitong dalawa, di ba? Plus naman yun. So, ay tunahin po natin to 0 0.001 0 0 0 0 0 0 pa. Isa pang 0. 1. Ito. N2 squared. N2 squared. Tapos, yung ating uh, PE2. Ano ba yung PE2 natin? What will be our PE2? Uh, PH pala. Sorry. PH na bali. 0.25. 0 0.25. 0 0.25. M2. So that will be equal to uh, 1 half. So 1 half. Ano yung PH1 natin? PH1 is 250. And then... PE1. PE1 is 100. So, given, ito yung given natin. Ito po. Yan yung given po natin. So, computing nga po natin itong 250 plus 100 equals divided by 2. 175. So, ito po ay 175. 175. Pwede natin ilipat, no? i-transpose po natin ito para sa quadratic equation. 0. 0.0001 no? N2 squared. So, kita na po. No? 0.25 N2. So, 175. Ilipat sa kanila. Positive. Magiging negative. 175. That will be equal to 0. Okay. Pagka ganito po by algebra, that is mode 53 sa calculator natin. Mode 5, 3. Yan. Ito din na lang po natin yung mode 5, 3. Tapos input. Tapos na. So we have mode 5, 3. Then input na po natin yung mga coefficient na to. So, point zero 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 one equals. Ito din yung equals. Then point twenty five equals. And then negative 175. Equals, then equals. Lalabas po yung N2 natin dito, that will be 570.03 RPM. That's another. Pag pinindot po pa, another equals, lalabas yung X sub 2. No? Kasi ito sa positive. No? Ito kasi magiging negative to. Negative uh, 3,070.03 RPM. Mathematically, this is correct. No? Parehas tama yan. No? 
But of course, practically, no, electrically speaking, wala namang speed na negative, no? Wala. So, ito ko consider natin, no? 570 RPM. So, that is the answer for this RE board exam problem. No? 570 po ang kasagutan ko, uh, Mr. Boticario. And that will be level letter C. Letter C. Okay? Mr. Boticario? Okay. You are not connected. Sige, salamat po. Thank you.